mari brothers and sisters we were having the bible study on the acts of the apostles and uh, we had completed and now the 19 chapters and we are supposed to enter into the 20th chapter but and uh, we have completed two missionary journeys of saint paul and out of which yesterday we had the summary of the first missionary journey of saint paul and today let us have a summary of the second missionary journey of saint paul saint paul in those days you know he walked most of his journey was either through ship and the rest of the time he walked he traveled in the his first journey itself he's around 1500 miles he traveled 1500 miles he traveled by foot and also by ship and the second journey around 3000 miles he traveled a uh, second uh, missionary journey so today let us see the second missionary journey that he did so it's unimaginable for a human beings to do such a great zeal for the evangelization you can imagine how much he was influenced by the apparition of our lord jesus on the way to damascus which changed his whole life and his attitude and he was ready to go to any extent to propagate his faith so let us see the second journey so yesterday we found after the first journey he started the journey from antioch which was almost in the ancient time there were two churches two centers of the christianity one is jerusalem that is where everything started and the second center is antioch now nowadays the orthodox uh, christian churches antioch is the head of his of a uh, orthodox uh, christian churches so um jerusalem the center of jerusalem jerusalem is slowly uh, later because of persecutions disappeared and in in the ancient time there were five five um, main centers of the christianity jerusalem antioch constantinople and likewise uh, there were five uh, centers rome and fourth one and the fifth one um there is one more place so like these five centers of christianity main centers of christianity and the first one to be to have the first uh, the most important center was jerusalem and the second center was antioch seen paul's most all the missionary journeys started from antioch and then ended in antioch so yesterday we spoke about the first journey that ended in antioch in antioch he spent a lot of time in praying and going around antioch is uh, in today's country syria if you go to syria you can go to antioch and uh, there antioch in syria itself there are so many churches he went around and encouraged all the believers in syria and he stayed there along with paul and barnabas they stayed there in antioch before after his first journey and then he start the second journey let's see the video a small video of his second journey so he was in antioch that is in today's syria and in antioch from here he starts his second journey he starts along with his uh, barnabas uh, he was supposed to go uh, with barnabas but then there was a misunderstanding between barnabas and and paul because barnabas wanted to take mark but paul did not want mark because mark had uh, betrayed i mean cheated uh, in between his journey he had um, disobeyed paul and went back so paul was not happy with mark mark was uh, his another name was john it's not the apostle john but this is the mark who wrote the second gospel so um, barnabas was upset and barnabas took mark and he went to cyprus cyprus is in southward and then paul took silas silas and went to upward the northward and that's how from antioch he went to tarsus and from tarsus he went to uh, lystra iconium and he went to antioch in pisidia and from there suddenly uh, he he was pro- forbidden by forbidden from the holy spirit he wanted to go to asia asia is the red color place and this asia is in fact Uh, these all these places which we just now saw are today is part of turkey all of them all these places uh, and uh, the F, uh, uh, ephesus and uh, antioch iconium lystra all these places are today's 
uh, today is Turkey. If you go to Turkey, you will see most of the work of the St. Paul is in Turkey. And um, so those days, they were, they, these places were in, di in different divisions like Galatia, Asia, and um, Cilicia, and Bithynia. These are the, the, the green color places called Bithynia. So these are the places he was, uh, uh, you know, different places. But after they came to Galatia, that is uh, in the Antioch and PC, Lystra and Iconium, he wanted to go to Asia, but the Holy Spirit said, you don't need to preach in Asia. So without preaching from Antioch or Pisidia, there are two Antiochs, the Antioch where he started, and the second Antioch is in Turkey. So from that place, he, without preaching to anybody, he went around Asia. So that is what you are seeing now. He went around Asia. And then he wanted to go to Bithynia. When he reached the Messiah, he wanted to go to uh, Bithynia, that it was the green color, but then the Holy Spirit did not say, Holy Spirit said, don't go there. And he is just going through the boundary of Asia, and he reached to Troas. Tro he reached Troas, and Troas, he had a vision. When he reached to Troas, that is uh, where um, yeah, he had uh, Luke join with him. Luke, the, uh, you know, the gospel writer, the Acts of the Apostle was written by Luke. He joined with him in Troas because he was waiting there. And uh, in Troas, he was um, uh, praying. When he was praying, one day he was, when he was sleeping, he had a vision of a Macedonian coming and speaking to him. And, it is, and then Macedonian invited him to come to uh, Ma uh, Macedonia and preach. Macedonia means today's Greece. The, the country Greece. So then St. Paul knew from Troas he's supposed to go. The Holy Spirit wants to go to him, go to, um, go to uh, the Macedonia. Therefore, he come to uh, Samothrace, which we just, we can see that place, Samothrace. And he came to Samothrace. From there, he came to Neapolis. When he touched Neapolis, in fact, he touched Europe for the first time. And from there, Europe starts the continent of Europe. And he entered into Europe from uh, in, uh, going to, uh, and that is how for the first time the faith reached to Europe and he entered into Europe. And then he, uh, from Neapolis, he went to Philippi. And then when he reached Philippi, and in Philippi, he spent a lot of time in Philippi. Because Philippi is the place where he met, um, in fact, he met, Lydia. He went, they, um, Luke and Timothy and Paul, they spent in Philippi, time in Philippi. And one day when, when they went to a small prayer house and uh, they met some ladies and they preached the gospel to these ladies and one of them was Lydia uh, and she was originally from Thyatira and, and she was there and she was there in Philippi and then she got converted after Lydia was converted, it is in the same place, Philippi, one slave girl, exorcism of a slave girl. A slave girl came and tormented St. Paul in the marketplace when they were going through the streets of uh, Philippi. And then suddenly one slave girl and came and said, you are, the, you are the messengers of the Most High God and all this kind of thing. And Paul got irritated and cast out the devil from her body. And then all the owners of this lady, slave, slave girl, they got angry and they put, carry, they dragged St. Paul and Silas and then they were imprisoned and in the prison there was a big miracle and the prison gates were opened and then the jailer was converted. So we, you know all these details, I had explained to you all these details. And that is how the jailer was saved and after that from Philippi, he went to Amphipolis, so that is where we are now, Amphipolis. And from there, from Amphipolis, he went to Apollonia. And from Apollonia, he slowly went to Thessalonica. And Thessalonica, he spent some time there because there, that is where Jason's house, um, he, Jason, he was staying in Jason's house. And then one day, the Jewish people came and dragged Jason to, in front of the leaders. And meanwhile, P uh, Paul and Silas, they escaped. And then Jason gave uh, some money, a huge amount of money as a ransom. So he was saved from prison. 
and then jason told paul and silas to escape from that place because otherwise he will be in jail jason will be affected so paul did not want jason to be in trouble so J paul and silas they decided uh, so uh, they decided to go to berea from from thessalonica they continued journey to berea and in berea uh, in fact the people who are in berea they were so good people they were very attentive they listened to the preaching of saint paul and they were checking the whole old testament to make make sure to verify the preaching of saint paul and there after some time from uh, when they were in berea though the people in berea were good but some people from thessalonica and uh, uh, other places philippi and thessalonica they came and instigated the local people of berea and said destroy them they are dangerous people then they were attacked in berea and because of which the good people in berea they took paul and silas and uh, i mean uh, they took paul and somehow managed to re make them reach uh, to the seashore and from seashore he took the ship and he went to athens so he can from berea through water he is going to athens and he reached athens and athens is also part of greece macedonia he reached athens in athens that is where he spoke to the philosophers athens is one of the greatest city in the ancient time especially one of the greatest city of Ed europe and he reached athens and he spoke to epicureans and stoicists and there he had discussions with all these people athenians are they had so many gods and so many goddesses so many temples huge temples in athens and that is where he had a preaching he spoke in areopagus it is one of the famous place areopagus and that is where he saw unknown god and he spoke to uh, the athenians about unknown god and he spoke about jesus and then he could not convert much many people but only converted some people and some of them were dionysius and damaris the two important people who got converted from athens and then later he when he was preaching in areopagus he spoke about resurrection and which the athenians could not accept though they believe in the immortality of the soul they didn't believe in the resurrection of the bodies therefore they rejected him and since they rejected he got uh, he he left the uh, athens and from athens he went to corinth and you can see he went to corinth and in corinth corinth is also part of today's greece and in corinth he did lot of work and that is where he met aquila and priscilla the tent makers who recently came from rome because the roman emperor chased all the jewish people out of rome and therefore they had to leave rome and he came to corinth and he was settled in they were settled in corinth and that is where saint paul met them because saint paul himself was a tent, tent maker and both all three of them were tent makers so they busy working tent making so saint paul collected money through hard work and uh, so that is how he even supported his ministry with his own hard working money and then there is self he met then by the time the timothy and silas who were in berea berea they came to corinth they were supposed to join him in athens but they by the time they came the saint paul was in corinth so when they came to athens they came to know saint paul is already gone to corinth so they came to corinth and that's how uh, timothy and silas joined and in uh, corinth that is where uh, saint paul met justus and crispus justus was next to the synagogue and crispus was the in charge of the synagogue and crispus got converted they all became christians and instead of crispus a new member jewish member was in made in charge of the synagogue that is he is called sosthenes and sosthenes became in charge of the synagogue because crispus and justus became christians and later sosthenes gathered together all the jewish people and dragged paul in front of pro council gallio gallio was the in charge of that country and they dragged him and uh, they the sosthenes and jewish people they dragged him in front of the pro council gallio and gallio was not happy with the jewish people because all of them were gentiles and greek people they didn't like the jewish people so when they sp spoke against paul and paul was about to speak and then suddenly gallio said 
this is not regarding any law order law and order system and this is about your law therefore i have nothing to say so uh, it's only about your law and then he just dismissed the crowd meanwhile all the uh, greek people who are gathered there they surrounded sosthenes that uh, in charge of the synagogue they started beating him and after getting some beating he got converted to christianity because he came to his senses and then he got converted and that's how uh, we know sustenance later he became one of the companions of saint paul because um, he was against saint paul initially and from corinth then he uh, went to a small journey to sankare sankreya or kankare the kankare it is called kankare the announce is pronounced like kankare it is in akaya akaya also is today's greece in today's greece and uh, he went to his kankare and in kankare he had his uh, uh, head shaved his uh, haircut he had shaved his head because he was fulfilling his vow and in nazareth vow he completed there therefore he had his haircut there from kankare then he makes a long journey long journey to ephesus it is a return journey he is going his return journey that is why is in red color so he went to ephesus and in ephesus he did not stay much longer there because though the people in ephesus they asked him to stay for a long time but then he promised them i will come back soon and then he went from uh, ephesus and from ephesus he went to syria that is caesarea he is a long journey from ephesus and he saw cyprus in the left side and then he did not enter into cyprus but he went to caesarea and from caesarea he was in caesarea for some time this caesarea is in today's lebanon today's lebanon uh, this caesarea is must be in uh, mostly in israel but just above that sidon and tyran sidon is in lebanon today's lebanon and then from caesarea some people say he went to jerusalem for some days one or two days but some people some bible scholars say he didn't go anywhere but from there he went to damascus and to antioch from there he went to damascus and then we went to antioch where he started his journey and thus he completed the second journey the second journey the total around 3000 miles he traveled uh, on foot and also on the ship so my dear brothers and sisters is this is how this the this paul saint paul the greatest missionary in the church he traveled the second journey let's see the whole map once again and uh, this is how his journey you can see uh, this ria and uh, okay uh, so when he started from antioch in syria and from there he went to he went through one uh, place called silesian gate so in silesia you can see in the violet um, color so silesia uh, gate you can see uh, in modern world it looks like like this there is a photograph uh, of uh, silesia in modern world that gate the where through which he went through so silesia gate it looks like this um, so this is uh, the picture of the a uh, gate we can see um, we can see this is silesia gate this is the way he some years ago he passed through and from there he went to uh, from silesia later he we know that he went to lystra iconium um, and other place pisidia and uh, from there he went to galatia you know the galatia is like a dark green color and in galatia you can see those years people used to live in the caves so you can see a small picture of uh, caves uh, you know on the uh, on the rock they used to make holes and they used to stay in caves these are some of the pictures of today's galatia that is part of um, uh, turkey today so you can see the holes of people used to stay there and from then from there he he went to Uh, instead of a- entering into asia he was not allowed to preach in asia that is also part of turkey today but instead he went around the boundary of asia and then he went and reached uh, uh, trovas trovas in trovas there are some is a roman city too is all these are controlled by roman 
So there are some Roman remains at Troas. You can see a photograph of a Roman remains of Troas. It's at Troas, and you can see some big buildings, the remains of ro ro big buildings. From Troas, he got a vision, vision of man coming and, uh, and inviting to Macedonia. You can see in Troas, if you go there, you can see a mosaic picture there uh, depicted on one side. It's a Turkey is an Islamic country now, and um, there was, there was uh, some time ago in the first injuries, there was a huge Christian base. The whole Turkey was a Christian country. And there was a big center of the church called Constantinople. And there, a huge cathedral of Constantinople, you can, uh, the, the church, the Roman Emperor made a huge cathedral of, in Constantinople. Later, Islam, inversion of the Islam, this cathedral which was known as Hagia Sophia, was turned into a mosque later, even today. Uh, recently, it, it later it became a museum, and then uh, and it became UNESCO's uh, heritage site, but then recently it was converted into a Muslim mosque. Um, but remember, it was a cathedral of Constantinople. And um, so in uh, Troas, he saw the vision. This is a small mosaic picture of... Um, um, his vision of Macedonian coming and inviting him to Macedonia. And from there, there is, uh, uh, he went to Neapolis. Neapolis, uh, when he, that is, he entered into Europe for the first time. And this is the picture of uh, Neapolis. Today it is called Kavala. So this is where he entered for the first time into Europe. And then from there, he started walking along the path of the sea that is called Ignatian Way along the coast. This is a walking path, a long walking path to, from uh, through, I mean, Neapolis to Philippi. And so this is a walking path through which he, he walked through the, uh, the coastal areas and then he reached Philippi. And in Philippi, um, he, he, he was imprisoned. You can see that the remnants, the remains of the prison of St. Paul. This is the prison remains that is available now. This is where earthquake happened. The doors were all opened and the jailer was about to kill himself. But Paul said, don't worry, we are all here. So inside this place, now it's only a small remains are available. But some years ago, um, it was, this is where you know, St. Paul was imprisoned. And from there, he met Lydia. You know, Lydia's house became a small church today. So Lydia's church, this is how the Lydia's house which became and a church today. So this is church of Lydia. And from there, uh, you know, slave girl uh, came and tormented, disturbed St. Paul. And St. Paul cast out the evil spirit from Saint slave girl. And it was a market. It is called Roman Agora. So this is called the Roman Agora. These are, you can see small, small uh, shops there. The rem remains of the small, small shops. And there is a path in the middle. And on the side, you can see small, small uh, shops. And uh, in that path, when St. Paul and St. Luke, and they, when they were walking through, one lady, one girl, slave girl came and said, you are anointed one, and so on and so on. And then suddenly Paul turned back and looked at this lady and said, get out. And I mean, ask not the lady, but the evil spirit to get out from the lady. And then evil spirit came out of the lady, and then she became normal. And the owners put them into prison. So that is what happened in um, Philippi. And from there, he came to Thessalonica. Thessalonica today is like this. So Thessalonica, this is Thessalonica in today's state. But on those days, there was nothing. And um, from there, he came to, there is a small picture of he came to Berea and he preached the gospel and you can see the people of Berea were very good. They were checking the Bible. You can see the people who are listening very attentive and they are checking Old Testament and verifying everything that he preached. And this picture can be seen. Uh, these, uh, this mosaic picture is in Berea. You can see the next picture. You can see uh, these both pictures are depicted. This is called the Steps of St. Paul. And this is in Berea in Greece. And then uh, he went to uh, uh, in he went to Athens, uh, Areopagus. There he preached the gospel. Uh, gospel. And um, 
he went in Athens, he preached the gospel in one a place called Areopagus. And it is, this is the remnants of the place where he preached. And it was a huge place where all the new, new theologies, philosophies, philosophers were invited and preached. They were allowed to preach. So St. Paul was invited to this place and preached in Areopagus. And if you see from far, it looks like this. It is called um, uh, Mars Hill. So uh, this it's on the hill, this building is situated and on a hill. That hill is called Mars Hill. And St. Paul was invited to this place and preached his uh, a powerful preaching in, in Athens. And that is in this place, Areopagus. This is the remnants, remains of, uh, of that building. And then he came to Caesarea. That is a Roman harbor today. It looks like this. So in, he came to Caesarea. Uh, so, uh, and then he from Caesarea, he went to Antioch. So this is the whole picture. Once again, let's see that uh, map of it. And you can see the whole uh, from Caesarea. He went to, that is today's Lebanon. The Tyrant Sidon is today's Lebanon. And then he went to Antioch. That is today's Syria. And then completed the whole second missionary journey. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So let us thank the Lord for sending such a mighty missionary. He's walked almost 3,000 miles. Just imagine how much he traveled. Let's thank the Lord for such a mighty uh, missionary for the, in the beginning of the church. We need St. Paul's today. We need at least one St. Paul today. Unfortunately, we don't have any. So we pray so that God may send some St. Paul's to today. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So from tomorrow, we will continue chapter 20 onwards because that is where he starts the third missionary journey. So at the end of that Bible study, we will have um, um, the, the summary of these journeys. 